Hello friends, welcome to the next session. Now we are going to study second problem in type 2 problems. Okay, so the problem over here is design a FSM in which the input is valid if it contains even number of A's and odd number of B's. So specifically we are going to target for even number of A's and odd number of B. So A should be even and B should be odd. Let us take some of the examples. Let us assume I have an example like A, B, B, A, B. How many number of A's do I see over here? 1, 2 and 3. So number of A's are odd and the number of B's are 1, 2, 3. Number of B's are odd. Do I accept such an input? No, because I am targeting for a combination called as even odd where even is for A and odd is for B. Similarly, if I have an input like B, A, B, 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 A, A, will this input be accepted? Counting the number of A's, 1, 2, 3. So, number of A's are odd and counting the number of B's, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of B's are 4. So, number of B's are even. Odd even combination, I am not interested. I am interested in an even odd combination. Let's take one more input. Let us say I have A, B, A, B, 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 another A, A, B. Let us count the number of A's. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I have even number of A's. Let us count the number of B's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Number of B's are again even. So, even, even combination, again I am not interested. What I am interested is in even odd combination. Last example. I have input as A, A, B, B, B. Counting the number of A's, number of A's are 2, therefore number of A's are even as expected. Counting the number of B's, 1, 2, 3, number of B's are odd as expected and that is exactly the combination which we were looking for. So, looking at all of these examples, can I conclude that the possible 4 combinations that we are going to come across are odd, 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 even, even, odd and even even yes and those exactly are going to be the states that are going to be the part of this problem so let's start directly moving on to my step two moving on to the state function s cross i okay so the start state is going to be s the input is over the alphabet a and b so i'll be writing a over here and b over here now what all are the possible combinations so, the possible combinations will be considering those four states which we just discussed, which were nothing but odd, 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 even, even, odd, even, even. So, let us write this. So, I want to keep a track of number of A's. I want to keep a track of number of B's. So, let me have it inside the n function. Number of A's can have a combination odd, 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 even, even, odd, and even, even, right? Now we can write the state names. So the first state will be Q0, next is Q1, Q2 and Q3. So overall if I say in my step 2 what are going to be the things which are going to be part of this? The input set which is going to consist of inputs like A and B, the output set which is going to say whether the input is valid or not, so yes or no and lastly the set of states which are nothing but QS, Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3, right? So, let us go ahead. So, we are currently talking of this particular cell. I am in start state. I do not have any A's with me. I do not have any B's with me. So, can I say overall I am having even number of A's and even number of B's because the count of A's and B's are 0, 0, right? So, this is just an assumption that we have nothing on the input and nothing on the input is as good as no input signifies 0 A's and 0 B, fine. Now, I am in state QS and I receive an input like A. When I receive an input like A, that means the number of the A's were initially 0. Now, the number of the A's turned out to be odd. So, number of the A's now have become odd, whereas the number of the B's still remain even, right? So, the combination which I am getting over here is odd even. 
Now, before marking this combination, let us discuss what is going to be the final state. So, if you observe at the question, it is saying we have to design a FSM in which the input is valid if it contains even number of A's and odd number of B's. So, we are interested in even odd state and even odd state is nothing but my Q2 state and therefore I mark Q2 as my final state. So, now coming to what we have derived over here, QS when it was in start state with no input and receives a A, the state from even even becomes odd even. What is odd even state? Odd even state is nothing but Q1, therefore this will be going to the state Q1. Now, going ahead, I am currently in state QS, so I do not have any number of A's and any number of B's, so as good as even even and what I come across is a single B. So, single B is going to make the number of the B's as odd, whereas the number of A still remain even. That is the combination which I achieve right now is even odd. And even odd is nothing but my Q2 state. Therefore, QS on receiving input symbol A will be going to Q2. Right? Let's go ahead. Now, I am talking of state Q0. Now, Q0 is holding all those set of possible strings which are going to have odd number of A's and odd number of B's, right? I have odd number of A's and odd number of B's. That is, any string which contains A's and B's count as odd will be in this particular state. Now, what I come across is a number or a symbol like A. So, when A comes over here, this odd odd will become even odd because an input like simply A has come over here, B has not come. So, odd odd became even odd and even odd state is nothing but Q2. Therefore, this will turn out to be Q2, right? Going ahead, again in Q0 state, the combination was odd odd and the input like B comes over here. When an input like B comes over here, number of A's remain the same, whereas number of B's become even now. So, the combination now over here turns from odd odd to odd even. Odd even state is nothing but Q1 and therefore we write Q1 over here. Understood? Going ahead, we have in Q1, we have a combination odd even. When an input like A comes up, A comes up that is going to make it even even. Even even combination is nothing but Q3. Therefore, we write it over here. Similarly, original combination was odd even in Q1 and the input symbol like B turns up that is going to make it odd 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 or combination is my q0 going ahead when i say a input symbol like a comes up that now turns out to making even to odd and odd will remain as odd so the combination is odd 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 is nothing but my q0 similarly in q2 when i have even odd and an input symbol like b turns up that now becomes from even odd to even even and even even is nothing but my Q3. Let us go ahead to the last state. In Q3, the combination was initially even even. Input symbol like A turns up, therefore that will make this A as odd and B will remain as even itself. The combination is odd even that is Q1. Lastly, the combination was even even input symbol like B turns off. So, this even will get converted to odd and even odd is nothing but my state Q2. That is how we mark it. Got it? That is how we mark it. Clear? So, now having made the state transition function, having also applied the final state, let us implement machine function inside the same table. Now, what does my machine function say? Machine function says given a state and an input, what is the output? We just found out that the output state is nothing but my state Q2 because it contains what is expected, even number of A's and odd number of B's. So, everywhere in the state transition function, wherever you are seeing Q2, you can mark it as yes. So, Q2, yes, Q2, yes, Q2, yes. Rest all will be giving the output as no. So, that prepares my state transition function as well as machine transition functions. Going ahead to check whether the problem is working fine or not. So, let us go to step 5 examples. So, we have step 5. Let us consider first example. The first one that I want to be accepted is as per the question. 
which says it should contain even number of A's and odd number of B's. So let us say I am in state QS. I am considering a string consisting of even number of A's and odd number of B's. So let this be QS comma A B A B B. Let's check whether the FSM is accepting it. So now I say QS on receiving input symbol A. QS on receiving input symbol A is going to Q1. I write Q1 over here. B A B B is pending. Next, Q1 on receiving input symbol B. What I have over here, Q1 on receiving input symbol B is going to Q0. I have Q0, A B B left with me. Q0 on receiving input symbol A. Q0 on receiving A goes to Q2. So I have Q2 and two Bs over here. Similarly, Q2 on a B. Q2 on a B goes to Q3. Q3 comma single B. Lastly, when Q3 is going to read the last number, it is going to give the output also. So let's go ahead. Q3 on receiving B. Q3 on receiving B is going to go to Q2. Is going to go to Q2 and throw the output yes because the FSM has finished scanning the input. And therefore, we say the string A, B, A, B, B is accepted by the finite state machine or in other words, it is a valid string because it contains even number of A's that is two number of A's and odd number of B's which is three number of B's. Got it? Second example where I do not want the thing to be accepted. So let us say QS comma, I do not want the input which contains even number of A's and odd number of B's. So let me say I have a, A, A and single B. So it contains odd number of A's and odd number of B's. Let's solve this problem. QS on receiving input symbol A. QS on receiving A goes to Q1. Q1 comma A, A, B. Q1 on receiving input symbol A. Q1 on receiving input symbol A goes to Q3. I have A, B with me. Q3 on receiving input symbol A. Q3 on receiving A goes to Q2. Okay. Finally, Q2 on B is going to go to some state and throw the output. So I say Q2 on receiving input symbol B goes to Q3 and gives the output as no. It goes to Q3, gives the output as no, signifying that the number, the string will be rejected by the finite state machine because it is not containing even number of A's and odd number of B's. I hope you understood this problem clearly. So with this, we finish this problem. I hope everyone understood it. Thank you.